Jenny McDowell joins us today to talk some Emory Volleyball. Coach, uh, your team's been at it over, uh, over a week now from, during preseason drills. Talk about how preseason's been going. You know, it's been going great. We have a great freshman class that came in, a lot of really good ball handlers, good defenders, so that's been a real bonus for our gym. Um, our returners showed up in fantastic shape and at the top of their game, so we've really come together in a very short time, but you know, we have some uh, tough matches early on this season, so we got to be ready to go. Talk about what's been the focus of the preseason. You know, every year, every year there's a new team, new challenges. Yeah. Talk about what you and your staff have tried to zero in on. Well, you know, we lost a big senior class, some really important keys. We lost our libero, our starting outside hitter, our starting middle. So we had some real uh, tough positions to fill. So we had to fill those positions as soon as possible. We knew that we were going to have to improve our ball control, which I think we did with this freshman class. And then come together. I mean, we added nine new players to this team. Team chemistry was really important to us. So we've been doing a lot of off the court type um, bonding exercises, which I think is paying off. You know, you talk about some of uh, some of the people you lost. Uh, uh, a big part of your offense last year was Leah Jacobs. Yeah. She's graduated. She's moved on. And yeah. uh, talk about who you're looking maybe to fill fill that role, or if it will be an individual or by committee or something like that. Yeah, it's hard to replace Leah Jacobs. Um, you know, what she did last year, one of the best uh, single seasons we've had for an outside hitter. Um, we have three players that are really vying for that spot. Catherine Trinka has showed up in the best shape of her life, playing at extremely high level, um, doing it very, very well. Um, Carissa Dezurek and Ashley Crawford are really vying for that other position. Ashley has a ton of experience that she brought in. And, just a feisty player. Um, again, we didn't have her this spring. She was in Paris uh, doing uh, internship there. And Carissa is just a fantastic player that's come in from Lancaster, PA. So they're sort of fighting it out for that other positions, but supportive, but both playing at a high level as well. Oh, but at the same time, yeah, you lose Leah, but you have your center back, Sydney Miles, and that's certainly that, that's a comfort for you, comfort for you to have a, a, a position like that really set in stone. It's unbelievable. You know, I can't think of um, you know coaching without Sydney Miles, which she does from a leadership perspective on the court, off the court. You know, she's had probably the best career of any Emory volleyball player. Um, you know, every time we walk into the gym, I know we have the best setter in the gym. But what I love about Sydney is she's looked to improve other parts of her game. I mean, she's wanted to become a better defender, a better blocker, a better server, and she's done that. So I think you're going to see an even better player, even though she's a first-team All-American for us. Talk about, as, as, the, as, this, as this season takes shape, what kind of, uh, you know, characteristics or what kind of yeah. team mentality or are you looking to, to make, get out of this group? You know, I think something that sort of stuck with us last year was just that fighting mentality, you know, grinding things out, fighting, finishing drills, finishing matches. Um, anytime you have Sarah Marr, you have Jess Holler, um, you know, and Sydney Miles and Shannon Nugent and Catherine Trinka, when you have that core foundation that are just a group of fighters, Everybody else jumps into it, and so we want to continue that kind of attitude, the scrappy, um, you know, keep the ball off the floor, defend tough, you know, so I don't think we're going to really change. I think we're just going to continue to build off that attitude they had last year, but we have such a great core with the juniors and seniors. I think you'll see a similar style with that. Okay, and then next uh, Tuesday, things start for real. Yeah. You uh, have your season opener, which is here at the Woodruff PE Center against a really good region for Birmingham Southern yeah. coming off a uh, year that saw them win 24 matches last year. Yeah, very, very, very good team. Um, Jeff White's done a phenomenal job in a short time there, um, recruiting very well. Uh, they get regional players, some of the top regional players. So it's probably the toughest first match we've had in a long, long time. But we know this the beginning of our season, this month of September, um, I would put the toughness of our schedule against anybody. Um, so we've got to be ready on Tuesday. They've been working really hard uh, preseason-wise, so I think we'll be ready, but we know we have to with Birmingham Southern coming in. All right, Coach, thanks very much for your time. I'll let you get back to work, and we will catch up with you uh, next week. Thank you.